Back to streaming after a couple days because, I don't know, I felt sick yesterday. I had a really sore throat. Probably too much Baja Blast. Which, if you don't know, Baja Blast is supposed to be Mountain Dew with a uh, flavor of pineapple and lime in it. I like it quite a bit. Probably too much. But anyway, uh, getting on here, let's get a real win. I, uh, close last time, but not close enough. Need to do a little bit better than taking a... Taking a really bad tumble into a lot of exploding barrels right as it seemed like I was about to finally win something. But, and, and then cursed sword and everything. Look, you know how it goes. I need to listen to chat when they tell me to do things. I have no will of my own and only exist because of the, the people that are currently talking to me. The bits of text on screen that allow me to do this in the first place. And that includes you at home, too. You're, you're no less important bits of text on the screen. Anyway, then turn the hot tub on. There. <laughs> anyway, we aren't real. I'm just talking to, I've been talking to someone named, he's been staring at that snow globe, muttering about chat for years. And also about soap operas for some reason. We, we really can't figure out that one. Anyway. <laughs> Look, as long as there's not like a, uh, a square in the corner this time. And I swear to God. Again, chat covers that. So I can't actually see if OBS does that weird thing where it puts text up on the screen when I don't want it to. It happens way more often than I like. I'll be honest here. Hey, do I have clean food in here? That's kind of important right now also yeah do you like that saint elsewhere reference <laughs> as always i think it's important to remind everybody that that was a way that they ended a long running series <laughs> at one point in one point in the past okay 50 percent heal at least i think i should be okay for right now Oh, uh, just the standard survival run. Survival has been the one that I have had the most luck with so far. And I think I'm even going to go with the same, like, mix-up of mutations that I was using last time. I didn't really like having just extra health, the uh, heal up from 50% to everything like that, even if I'm not using the the two-hand weapons like I was before. Certainly any sort of uh, good melee weapon will be fairly effective as well. I also get to use a shield, too, which is maybe an important thing just by itself. Why don't you just play in window with chat on the side so it doesn't obstruct your vision? Uh, that would mess around with the uh, the resolution of the game and everything, so you wouldn't be able to get the 1080p 60 frames a second, um, d d you know, quality that you all deserve. You all deserve and should demand. Never settle for anything less. And I'm sorry for anybody that can't watch this because they can't turn the quality down from 1080p 60 frames a second. Look, if I was, like, partner or something, I might be able to do something about that, but as of right now, for whatever reason, Twitch does not like you changing the resolution on them. D don't ask me why that is. Maybe it's like a phone thing. Not that whole deal. I mean, I guess maybe I could reduce the stream output, but keep the recording the same? I do know that's a thing I could... Ah, nah. Because I'm sure the people out there who want to watch it at uh, 1080, 60, it's like, are appreciative of this, right? Right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, dang it. There's an actual, like, clean carrot. I didn't even need to eat the dirty one off the floor that I found earlier. Oh, well. I mean, look, like 90% of my diet is dirty things that I find on the floor. This should be no different. Yeah, only 1080 on... Okay, so it is a phone... Okay, so when people are talking about that, it's a phone thing. Yep. I... I then that's... All right, I was wondering about that. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> I'm sorry for lighting your phone on fire. <laughs> but that is... That is the reality that we all must face sometimes. You want to get that good, good Dead Cells content? Your phone is going to light up like a, like the 4th of July. <laughs> that's just how that is. Uh, I too love floor carrot. It's it's good stuff because you know carrots, they're pretty sturdy. They can be washed very well, or at the very least scrubbed off. So you know, and that whole deal. 
Phone users deserve the worst. I watch stuff on phones pretty regularly. I I I feel personally attacked here. Anyway, let's get uh yeah, necromancy. Just in case I take big damage, I want to be able to heal up from that a decent amount. What about dead cells on mobile? I hear that that is... I, I've heard about people talking in the comments that it's like, yeah, that still is very behind in updates, which is... unfortunate. <laughs> it's, uh... rough. I hope, it, I hope it gets updated soon, because I always heard the uh, the mobile version was pretty good, but... Yeah. Needless to say, I've always... I've been on PC. I've always been on PC. I'm a PC man. As you know. As I've talked about before, where I had like the, the DOS computer with a whole 7 gigabyte hard drive. That was the big one back in the day. <laughs> but, um, you know. First console I had was like just surprisingly, um, it took many years for me to even get in the first place. I mean, aside from the, the uh, Game Boy that I had, but I bought that at like a yard sale for 10 bucks <laughs> you know how that goes now give me something good give me something that i can work with anything anything at all there's not really too much here that i'm interested in i'll be honest isaac today uh probably not i'm still waiting for the update i i want to i want to wait until they've changed up jacob to be a lot more playable <laughs> Because as of right now, I'll still dip in occasionally and try to do a run or two, but they're just... Oh, it's just horrible. The whole having that... having uh, Dark Esau die all the time is just... Too difficult. <laughs> Imagine thinking the update will ever come out. It'll only take as long as it took uh, Repentance to come out in the first place. Like, certainly they couldn't... <laughs> that's that's That I, I would think is probably the... the goal date for them, right? Take him down. That's not who I wanted you to take down. And you know that. I can't believe you would do this to me. Sometimes next year. Yep. 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 I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's like... You could do it. You don't have to do all of the update at once. You could just give me like... Hey, here's the fixed Lazarus and, and Jacob. And we'll work on like rebalancing and whatever and all the other stuff. You know, afterwards, but Eggman McMuffin is sitting over there being like, mm, we want to put everything out at once. <laughs> and we'll hear nothing to the contrary. Half the characters don't have birthright effects. Yeah, I mean, you know, there could be just like a tiny update that, I don't know, makes, you know, bug, slight bug fixes. I, I don't know, like maybe, maybe, maybe just like a little bit of fixing on the, on the, uh, the, the, the whole thing with birthright or like letting us get letting us get black markets again i don't know you know something mm, no i eggman mcmuffin refuse to let you have that without all of the other updates that whole uh deal <laughs> egg doesn't work on it anymore actually yeah that's probably about right i mean i would think that he's probably busy with the uh the card game thing getting that big update or uh had the big kickstarter or something whatever why did you have a mustache twirling voice have you ever heard eggman mcmuffin talk he definitely does why don't you trust me <laughs> there i mean he does streams you know <laughs> and he does have a large mustache and he does look exactly like uh dr eggman from classic sonic not the modern Sonic, not the one where he actually kind of looks like a real person, like in Sonic 06. Which, I'll be honest, of all the weird designs they had in Sonic 06, I kind of liked Eggman. He, he really did look like, what if we just made him look like a real person? Which is a bold move, but I mean, bold confusing moves is nothing new for <laughs> Sonic games and certainly 3D Sonic games. Anyway. What are we talking about? Uh, yes. You know, Sonic 06 is on the, the list. It's just the unfortunate thing is that it's not on PC, so I'd have to go buy like a 360, or well, I would have to buy a capture card for a 360 to actually 
get to play it in the first place. Or PS3, I think, it's also up for. That's gonna be... That's gonna be annoying. Hey, did you know that they were actually going to make a PC port of the... of, uh... Sonic the Hedgehog 2006, but for some reason that didn't come out. I don't know, I don't really know why that happened like that. Like, th th there were apparently a lot of plans, but it just never happened. Huh, weird. Well, maybe someday. Yeah, okay, just film your screen with the camera. No, I want to present, much like playing Omicron or whatever, I want to present that game in the best light possible. Because here's the reality. Here's the reality with Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. It's actually not as bad of a game as you might think. Oh, is it a bad game? Oh, hell yeah, it's a bad game. But I feel like a lot of people that play it, you know, like LP style, really go into it just like ready to tear it apart totally. And it's like, it actually doesn't play entirely terrible. And you know, it's crappy and works and, and like basically functions like garbage if you don't play it in the exact way that you're supposed to. But if you do, it's really not that bad. It's still a total garbage game, though. Don't, don't get me wrong on that. The thing barely functions and, like, uh, is buggy as all hell and everything like that. But it's... Like, I've played worse. That's the... That is the whole thing. There was no good life for Omicron. Well, <laughs> I tried... Like, let's be honest here. I tried. I went into that game knowing exactly what you need to do to beat Omicron. Like, all the... All the routes, all of the puzzle solutions, I was willing to edit everything down and like put it and, and you know, we saw, well, I guess we didn't see all the dialogue and I didn't like go into all the places, but it's like, I tried there, man. If the game still can't cut it after that, well, that's Omicron's fault. <laughs> ah. But I mean, I think we all knew that was coming from the very beginning it's it's like it, oh my god it's just a horrible i don't know i still kind of enjoy playing the game anyway because it's like it was never boring <laughs> there was always something to talk about but like you know it's not a good game <laughs> it is not a good game at all and i don't think anybody that's ever played that would would be, I mean, even like the most ardent supporters of Omicron got to admit that there's a lot of problems. Start to end. Omicron is like somebody who made Bunny Must Die, but unintentionally. I mean, Bunny Must Die certainly also didn't have like the sort of budget that would get uh, David Bowie in there either. Like, Bunny Must Die was also, there was a real attempt at the game, even aside from the memeiness and joke jokiness. <laughs> like, Omicron. O Omicron was designed to have that terrible twist about like what was it two episodes into that series or so? <laughs> it was that that was purposely designed that way. <laughs> Bunny must die is just Mimi Mimi nonsense. I feel like there's there's like an expectation that especially for a game that has that sort of uh, uh, pedigree to it would be yeah there we are would be better. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Got it slowly but surely. There. Almost there. Almost there. Oh. Wanna, does anybody else eat this plain ground black pepper? Plain, bla plain ground black pepper? No. No. Of course not. I mean, I could probably eat a number of different spices if you really pressured me into it. But pepper, nah, that'd just be. Okay, got it, good. Got it on the backswing with that too, which is fun. Okay, there we go. Also, thank you, Vesson. I love you. Now that's the true love, not the not the platonic love that we were talking about before in the bombed episode. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. You'll never see that episode unless I guess you watch it on Twitch or something. Which I suppose you could. I don't know why you would, though. Watch everything on YouTube. That's where I put up the good stuff. Good stuff being a uh, deep dive into talking about Omicron and Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 2006. 
You know, one thing I don't think anybody's going to disagree with me on when it comes to Sonic 2006, it was a very faithful recreation of the original game. They did take a little bit of a little bit of liberties with some of the the specifics of it, but otherwise it was a pretty impressive uh, pretty impressive remaster all things considered. Okay. There we go. Of course, adding in a lot of the new characters and everything, but worked out well. And we get an only fence. Ah! Uh oh, I might need to. Well, I do have. This is why I took. This is why I took the necromancy in the first place to be able to recover from stuff like this. So let's not jump right into healing yet. Oh man! Come on! No, not this. Eh, maybe this. I do quite like crushers. Well, let's see how this goes first. Who's going to jump down here first? Good. You're in one-shot range. I'm in one-shot range for now. But I'll be out of one-shot range only soon enough. Come on, baby. You're just going to... just going to, like, get out of here, get into a little bit better uh, position for fighting. After all, hitting a bunch of enemies at once will... Oh, great. Oh! Okay, now I need to actually... Ah! Ah! Ah, okay. Now I need to actually use the potion charge, unfortunately. Wait, was there a... Yeah, okay. No, I can do this first. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Everything's gonna turn into an elite here, eh? Nah, I got this. That's a lot of great stuff, though. I'm very happy to see all of these elites. Okay. <laughs> see, don't need to use a potion charge yet. Soon, though, I would guess. Until then, that, uh, we got we got a little while until that point, though. Okay. Man, full malaise in Area 3. Yeah, well, that's how it goes. There. I killed it. Ooh. I'll take that. Sure. A little bit of ranged weaponry. Not gonna argue with at all, let's be honest. Please stop spawning enemies for like five seconds so I can just get this item. <laughs> there. Man. Not making this easy. Ooh, it also has uh, explosion to toxic cloud on top of the whole, like, uh, everything else. Okay, okay. I'll select that too. There. Oh, getting real close to dying, but that's okay. I should be be able to uh, to do stuff. Oh, great! They're immediately. Got to remember that I don't actually have a shield here too. That's not gonna be great. Yo, jump up here. Got him. Got him, but for not as much damage as I was hoping for. There. Jesus. Okay. I hate all of this. Just get as many criticals as possible, basically, is the plan right now. And then... Oh, try and get this going. I don't know, I feel like I'm getting some pretty good damage here, at least for right now. It's just, yeah, unless I get the the actual critical on, the, on this, it's not going, like, super good. Well, back up to 50% health easy enough, but unfortunately I did lose everything else that I had. What I need to do is I really need to upgrade my main hand, and then past that point we can... Probably start to see a little bit better weaponry go in here. In the meantime, let's just go hit up the Oshwary. Okay, snort a line of black pepper or no balls. I don't even have that here. Like, where would I go? I don't just have black pepper to snort, you know. That whole thing. VTuber I know is doing Isaac remixes in Funkin'? In Friday Night Funkin'? Yeah, I guess I can believe that. What? Remixes are they? Are they of the Ridiculon stuff or the 
uh, or the um, original Baranowski ones. You don't have pepper in your house? No, I, what do I need pepper for? Like, I don't need, the, the, what's, it's the most basic spice? It's the most basic spice, whatever. I mean, that's that's what they want you to think, because that they put them together all the time, but have you ever th thought why it's supposed to be the most basic spice? Because I don't actually know. I mean, I I, I don't actually know. I mean, salt, salt seems like a very obvious thing, but pepper, I, I really don't know why that is. Stop that. Okay, seasoning food. I, you know what I use more than like black pepper? Like garlic powder or just regular garlic. Why would I, why, I should just have, I should have a thing of salt and garlic powder, not a thing of salt and pepper. <laughs> or just, you know, once again, just like chop up some garlic. I, I do that too. Use garlic and then pepper? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, pepper can be good on stuff, but it's, I don't use it that often, really. I mean, that's just that's just the truth of the matter. Use pepper, salt, and garlic. What am I making my own seasoning mix here? Making the most basic seasoning mix possible? Yeah. Ah, dang it. Well, I should still be able to get back up anyway. Oh, food is food, man. <laughs> I don't care. What does that even mean? I, I'm sorry. I don't eat nutrient paste either. You're really not making this easy, are you? I think I'm going to go clear out into a pretty big hallway and start hucking some axes. Yep, this is a pretty good str strategy, at least for right now. Healthiest American diet. Nutri paste? <laughs> nutrient paste? I don't know. I feel like a lot of American people would not eat nutrient paste. Basil and rosemary are also essential. I mean, essential in, like, the, the seasoning cabinet. <laughs> not essential in, like, I don't know, the little jars that you keep on your table at all points in time. I don't like this, but it's working out okay. All right. Ugh. Frightening. But I do like hemorrhage. Hemorrhage is a good item. Come on. Can I get back up to 50% health at least? Because I'll be able to recover from 50% health easy. A to the Z after I just find the, uh, the, the place. Okay. I'm American. I just eat plain pepper. I mean, if you just eat plain peppers, I suppose. But if you're, we're talking like dried peppercorn, I don't know about that. That's, that's where I would draw the line. But if your diet largely consists of, I don't know, green peppers or something, fine. I think that's reasonable. You can get a good amount of stuff out of uh, peppers. Anyone else want to come he down here, I guess? Just more of these things. Oh, oh managed to dodge it. All right, baby, let's go. There we go. The grind set. Somebody explain to me what the grind set is right now. I don't understand memes sometimes. <laughs> On that occasion, I understand memes too well. This is not one of those. All right. The paste does not have different p flavors. The paste tastes like, you know, basically imagine. There we are. Also, there we are. Uh, the the paste basically tastes. Okay, so imagine like, uh, flour, and then imagine like you added a little bit of. A little bit of water to flour. That's what the paste tastes like. You can mix in other flavors, but good luck finding them. Your life is paste now. That's that's what it is. I still also do not know, like making the big moaners. Ah, I see. That's what the grind set is. I still don't understand it. <laughs> 
I still do not understand these modern day memes occasionally. And then other times, again, I understand them only too well. When will I ever be a trendsetter? Able to understand memes in a way that... Literally what it sounds like. Uh, okay, so what the grind set sounds like is... Uh, basically what you're doing is... You're going to go do like a set, maybe like five grinds at once, perhaps in a strip club or in a kitchen. And then I don't know how many sets you usually do, but yeah, like five reps is one grind set. And after you do that enough, I don't know, you get like super cool uh, muscle butt. Is that what it sounds like? Ooh. Am I, am I right about that? The mindset of making the most mo money possible. Why Why the grind, though? That I don't understand. Wouldn't the grind just set be a mortar and pestle? I don't know, man. I always feel like that's, uh, that's way too much work. We have automated ways to do that these days. Yeah, I'll just throw this instead. Make it easier on myself. Hey, 60 kills. Nice. Not as nice as 69 kills, but maybe, maybe soon enough. Already at 63. Oh, bro, it takes like 10 seconds to grind anything. Not in the, not to the extent that I want it to be grinded. I, I'd like things to be quite fine if I'm going to grind them. That's my grind set. I want I want I want I want things to not just be a, a coarse coarse like pebbles. I want it to be a very smooth fine powder and or paste. Yeah, grinded. That's the past uh, uh uh past version of 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 to grind. And grinded if you if you want to say it that way. I usually don't. I say grinded. Like an American. Once again, make sure to never learn languages from me. <laughs> except for except for Japanese, I guess. <laughs> anyway, then. Don't learn English from me, I suppose this is the real the real takeaway. <laughs> ah, well there goes the uh, 69, but close enough. The proper pronunciation in the dictionary, uh, it's dictionary. Because you work on your diction. You understand. Any questions? <laughs> now then. Yeah, dictionarium is how I would normally say it, but uh, that's a very archaic way. Now then, not to get that grind set working for me. How do I say pl pl placebo? You say a placebo. <laughs> Why are you asking? That's like a Latin word, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, give me an upgrade already. Ah. <sighs> Hoping for it soon enough, but I suppose we'll see. Oh, I still need to go get the... Yeah, yeah, I need to go get that chest. Yeah. I mean, I... Isn't every word sort of a Latin word? Because language is based on Latin. No, there's a... Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll give that. Well, actually, I don't know. It's been nerfed lately. Quick doc, speak Latin. I already did. You missed it. Maybe next time. Now oh, these aren't even enemies that will get rid of the problems. Okay. Most words don't have Latin equivalent. I mean, language is something that evolves over time. 
and it has continued to evolve even up to this very date and age. Many sort of things. Or well, use some sort of alternate saying or Swede nom would be uh, said completely different these days. There we are. Oh. I want to go get that scroll, I guess. But we'll see how this even works out because I'm very worried about the everything right now. Curses are still a fright. Eh, let's not go into that area. Well, that's a problem. Got him. And a legendary, too. What is the legendary? Uh huh. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Uh, I guess I'll take it. See if I can't possibly get this one working for me. Legendary items are still a very important part of any well-balanced uh, survival run. Because <laughs> that's what you like to see. I mean, certainly what I like to see. Now then. Okay, okay. Borgor. Yes, Borgor is indeed a, a version of, like, neo-linguistic creation. <laughs> What would that word be that I'm trying to think of? Uh, I don't know. Damn it. Thank you, Van Crotus. I love you. I will be playing Mark of the Ninja soon. I swear. I swear. Don't worry about it. Like I, t I know I said that I was going to do it, but I really will be doing it soon. Okay. I mean, Borgor is a real ger German food. Yeah, but is it pronounced in that way? That's important. Yeah, so th th there's a good distinction to be made when we're talking about that. Yo, Mark the Ninja is amazing. I mean, I like Clay. I certainly like that style of game. It's just, I don't know. I just haven't gotten into it super, super good. Samoon, hey, I feel like I've been doing pretty good as far as, like, updating and everything goes, at least as of late. <laughs> Compared to how it's been in the past, I've been way more consistent. Uh, burger is like a bun full of meat. Oh, so like a a meat bun. <laughs> In other words, <laughs> Borgor isn't gen anything uh, German. I mean, it does have the umlaut over it, though. Man isn't a man until he's had his meat bun. What what is the thing they said in Sleeping Dogs? <laughs> Why am I remembering that game now? <laughs> Uh, man. Consistent? Well, I have been updating every single day, at least as of late. Now, every single day has been um, Persona 5, so that's maybe uh, something people would take more exception to, but can't say it hasn't been uh, consistent. Sleeping Dogs is great. I, I, I gotta play it someday. It does seem like one that I would be super into. If I actually sat down and finally did it. But it's also, you know, one of those really large games. Big old open worldy type of Yakuza, if I remember correctly. So one of those ones that's hard to get into. You know what I'm saying? So I watch P5 series. I, the P5, you know what? That's fine. But I mean, hey, nobody's going to accuse me of not updating. Not when the P5 series exists. If you want to hear my dulcet tones and also the dulcet tones of a second person, um, yeah, that's that's apparently all you're gonna get out of that series. Uh, it's it's I guess it's basically like relegated to ASMR at this point in time. ASMR where I complain a lot. <laughs> Come on, can I get at least the kill? There we go, good. Just notice your build. It's working out well. <laughs> it's, it's really not a bad build, but it is it is usually where a lot of survival builds go, which is to say colorless and legendary items. That's just how it happens. 
You know how that is sometimes. Why am I even looking at picking that up? Oh, Ohio Senpai. I watched P5 series and was very happy about the latest series of episodes. Yeah, sorry about them not having the the uh, uh, transcript there. That should be replaced soon enough. <laughs> that should be that should be um, you know added in soon, soonish. That whole thing. Yakuza games are amazing. I know, I really like the Yakuza games. They're very good, but it's also like, again, very large games. I kind of wanted to play the uh, the the new Yakuza with um with Ichiban <laughs> when that came out, but I was also like, man, that's good. that would be a big game though to commit to. That whole ah, I did, did it pressed it too hard again. There it goes. There it goes. What's the difference between gray and gold items? Gray items just scale with whatever your highest stat is, whatever that may be. Uh, survival in my case. Gold items scale with your highest two stats and hence have like a lower initial like damage. Uh, for example, you can see like the hemorrhage is, uh, despite being seven, does not have 250% of its base damage, but, two, but 125%. But because it scales off of two stats, it has the potential of being much, much stronger. As you, especially if you're building in a very specific way, which uh, you can see on my stats right now, I got everything in brutality and survival. So it's basically acting as if they're scaling off of 19 survival right now. It's pretty great. <laughs> But you know, of course, if you are kind of like balancing your stats for maximum for maximum health gain, you might not get that same sort of effect. And that's uh that's the short of how of the difference between legendary and merely colorless weapons. Kiryu's ca canonically a virgin. Uh I sh some more things we share with each other. Oh boy, that's gonna be a problem. No, not me saying that. Uh dealing with the curse chest. Especially this early. Well, I suppose it gives me more opportunity to find areas with enemies, but... Yeah, this should work. I think I got this. I think I got this. Kiryu has also never canonically killed a person. <laughs> never, ever. Okay, let's see how this goes. I can only hope I'm not about to... Get, you, get rid of you first, first off. Uh. Ooh, really got me very close with that thing. Is that something you don't share? I mean, I didn't used to. <laughs> okay. A little bit more. God, Kiryu also doesn't use guns. But, I mean, he's in Japan. Like, people even having fake guns was a huge... Was a huge uh, plot point in in Yakuza 2. Done. Okay, there we are. Oh man, I state that all the time these days. What are you talking about? Um. Oh right, I don't have a. Oh, it's a good thing I'm no longer cursed because I forgot that I didn't have a shield anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it has been quite nerfed, hasn't it? It's unfortunate, but also I still don't have a. I still don't have a. I still don't have a shield. Hey, remember that's a thing. I'll be okay. You get in the water here. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Okay. Fifty percent from projectile. Welcome to dead cells, baby. This is how we do. <laughs> Oh, man. That is really rough. Nerf is considered a, big, uh, a fake weapon, but it's basically the same. Okay, they were guns that shot rubber bullets in Yakuza 2. <laughs> it's like, that, but that's not... Look, play the game if you want. I'd recommend it. It's pretty good. That was also a game apparently like written by... I, I thought it was supposed to be like a famous Japanese like crime novelist, and it certainly has uh, a lot more twists and turns than you would expect out of it. I can't tell you exactly who it was. I swear I knew at one point in time, but none. 
a Yakuza, like OG Yakuza, but or like one of the newer ones. Cause I could do both. Again, I we were talking before about the whole like. Uh, hmm? Okay, I'm okay. Uh, we were talking before about like a whole Assassin's Creed and how I'd be interested in playing through that series. We're like Elder Scrolls even. I talked about this before, where it's just like I actually did want to do. I, I had like a, a Elder Scrolls Arena, all lined up and ready to be uh, to be played for a series, but I just never ended up doing that on on the channel. No, you don't. Yeah. Uh, without a shield, these guys are gonna be kind of rough. You can use guns to shoot money in Yakuza games. I don't know what that even means. I'm only familiar with the original two, so. Not so much with just about any other ones. Yes, do yakuza. Yakuza. <laughs> you know, yakuza. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, nearly got me there. Okay. Not a problem, though. Especially because, like, yeah, the... the electricity should be working out well to take these things down easy enough. Oh, Shadow Warrior 2 has a stack of cash you can hit monsters with. That doesn't surprise me. Shadow Warrior 2 doesn't surprise me at all in that way. It's like, yeah, that's a that's a shadow that's a shadow warrior thing. What's your opinions on Bakumi Tai? It's a good song. I mean, if I ever did like any sort of intro music for streams or anything like that, you would you bet I'd be playing like Friday night pretty regularly. <laughs> Speaking of other Yakuza Zero stuff, um, okay. Money. Certainly, there's, there's definitely... I mean, money being used as a weapon, I've seen definitely in a lot of things. For example, uh, one of the things in NetHack that shopkeepers will do is throw money at you for a huge amount of damage. It's really annoying. Of course, if you're fighting a shopkeeper, well, that's your own damn fault. But it's like, certainly, there was... I feel like Gungeon probably had some sort of money gun. They certainly had a lot of Shadow Warrior references. With the Zilla gun and... And, um... The... Uh, the Hydra? What, what was the one called that shot out all the missiles? I can never remember the name of it. I swear I've asked on stream before this exact question. Ooh, boy. That was pretty rough. You okay? Didn't actually get me. <laughs> I would have been pretty mad if I got hit by the, the square there. Oh, <sighs> the commander? What, wait, was the commander? I thought the commander was just a, a commando reference. You know, the reference to the movie Commando. Oh yeah, one step from Eden had the money empowered gun. Yeah, they, they also got the shopkeeper too, which is, well, you know, <laughs> it's her thing. Oh, uh, I don't think there was a straight money gun. I thought there was some. I don't know. The microtransaction gun from Gungeon. Oh, yeah, and there's also the... Uh, there was a similar thing from, from Risk of Rain 2. That I can't remember the name of right now. But it also shot money at enemies, basically. In sort of a, I don't know, like, questionably useful... Well, the crowdfunder, yeah. Because, you know... Ah, well, I'm going to get pulled, but that's okay, I guess. Come on, Golem. Like, at least... Oh, he actually died. But he still managed to hit me with one parting gift. Ugh, worst active in the game. I don't know. Have you seen the... Uh, have you seen the the enemy, like, element stuff? Those ones are pretty bad. <laughs> I should be selling some food around here. I took that explicitly because I wanted to sell food and get some big, big stuff. Ugh. There are also just like some a lot of bad actives I feel like in Risk of Rain. You know, I'll admit, kind of feeling like going back to Risk of Rain, but I'm also like, eh, I don't know. That was close. Because I just remember the frustration that I have with that game. But there were also a lot of fun parts. There was also a lot of frustration. Those are so strong, they are not strong at all. They do virtually nothing and they take up your active slot. Uh, essences? What are they called? The only one that's any good is the the electricity one. And even that one's kind of like, eh. Probably would rather have something else. 
Elite effects can straight up double your damage and health. Can they? Did, wait, did they change them up since I... Well, remember, I haven't played in a long time, so maybe they've actually uh, improved them. But, like, last... Last I saw, it's like I had gotten, like, two of those over the course of me even playing the game, and they were crappy. They were bad. <laughs> It was like it was like a very small damage increase at best. They've always been very strong. No, they haven't. Look, somebody else back me up here on the um on the enemy essences in Risk of Rain 2. <laughs> what do I even want to do? Hey, anybody got any um question? Ah. Only thing that changed in the items was adding two new ones, which I'm guessing are probably the uh uh, Celestine and Malachite ones? Which, I don't know. But, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where am I going? Where am I going? Anybody have any, uh, anybody have any, any opinions on that whole thing? And in the meantime, let me go get that chest. Did you go Giants so you can skip HPC? Yeah, I mean, that's, but, you know, that's the whole thing where it's just like, I skip that all the time, though. Sure, people just don't want to see that at this point. Because, like, I don't know. I mean, besides, there are also two areas that I can go to to get to the giant right now. Um, underground and the the other the other one. Uh, the sepulcher and the caverns. Okay, there we go. Ooh, stuns victim. Let's be honest here. Electric whip is not really doing, like, a super good amount of damage. I think I'm willing to take it. Go take giant and HPC surprises. Okay, well, let's do that then. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Caverns have higher level items? Yeah, I do believe so. Eh, let's go for it. Just went clock tower last time and everything. Why not? Can't believe still nobody's backed me up on the whole essences thing being like pretty unimpressive for like the rarity and all that because like um i remember like at best the lightning one the uh, silence between two points or whatever it was called was the only one that was any good and it was basically just a bad version of the behemoth like it didn't do as much damage as that when no i haven't played it Ah, okay. <laughs> Only picked up lightning one once. It is like one in 5,000 drop. It is stupid low. Find them late in the game or not at all. And usually it's not at all. Okay, then. Right. Well, actually, this is okay. That, yeah, that was acceptable, I suppose. Finally, the upgrade here starting to do some real damage. I actually took out that ground shaker before he can even hit it. Uh, haven't played in a while. Both my controllers drift. Oh, that sucks. I actually haven't had a problem with that yet. Still, I mean, I, of course, I also play with the, uh, with the D-pad and everything, as you know, so probably would also contribute to them not being as susceptible to that. Risk of Rain 2. Yeah, that's what we were talking about here. Famed roguelite shooter. Third-person shooter. All about going fast. Just constantly going fast. All right, all right. Yeah, Got him, though. Close, but got him. Okay, I can't play with D-pad. I don't know. It's just like, I, I just think that a game like this, which does not require precision controls to any angles. Like, you only require up, down, left, right, really. Works out well with uh, D-pad. A, a lot of 2D games do. Okay. Get him with that, and we're good. There. Okay. And take you out. Ooh. <laughs> hey, should I take the scythe ball? Is that good for the giant, though? I don't know. 
Hard to say. I'll see what pe I'll see what other opinions people got in chat here. I'd be down though. I'd be interested. I do like me. I mean, it's not worse than what you have for the most part, I suppose. Ah, sure, let's take it. After all, I have actually been building up for well, here, keep hemorrhage in the backpack. And symmetrical math, I don't need. Like, like, yeah, you know, I have been building up pretty well for um for uh, colorless weapons, so why not? It's just I don't know if that's gonna be great against the giant, because this hit especially, I don't know if that's gonna hit anything. <laughs> Come on. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I hate this. Wow. <laughs> I'll say hey, thanks, Macrotus. Thousand bits. For the 100 bit I mean. Not a thousand. Yeesh, this one might be a little bit irritating. Okay, no, it's it's staying. Nope, it's. <laughs> oh, so many elites! <laughs> There and there. Wow. <laughs> that's a that's a take. Oh, okay, don't die now. I'm not gonna die. Come on. I, I at least have enough competence to not have that happen. It's just, yeah, the slowness of the weapon, needless to say, is gonna be a t troubling one. As it always is. Ah, uh, should I take I should probably take the. Should probably take a potion charge right now. I can afford another one and everything after all, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Hopefully. Then <laughs> we'll see on that point. There. For like 200,000 damage. There. For another. 200,000 damage, basically. Okay, come on. <sighs> I think the biggest issue with Risk of Rain 2 is they added a secret character and then made it Mega Omega oh, Garbo. Wait, who, who'd they add? Is that the, the Desperado or whatever his name is? The new guy? Kaj. That surprised me to hear that it's very bad, basically. Here, we can do this. Didn't even get stunned at all now, did you? Great for the legendary. Yeah, the whole one tack thing is all about the legendary. Oh, there's a car alarm going off. I'm just like, what the hell is that? Okay. The heretic? Never heard of him. I don't even know there was a... He's Omega Garboy. Interesting. I'm going to go look that up then. Because I'm interested in, a, in secret character shit. I always do like secret character shenanigans. But yeah, that does sound a lot like the Keeper, basically. Where it's just like, cool, secret character. He's the worst. Or, well, like, the lost, really. Come on, just hit him already. You get funny lunar items that replace your normal abilities. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, when he, when you said heretic, that make that I'm just like, yeah, lunar, lunar. He's moon man. Is he moon man? <laughs> Sounds like he's moon man. So how it works is you do more damage with colorless weapons only by the virtue of having higher stat, but also lower stats. I mean, that is true for just uh, colorless weapons still work the same as normal legendary weapons. Yeah, have lower base stats, but higher potential stats because of the fact that they scale off of two. Two stats, basically giving them, you know, basically, so it's like I'm doing 31 skill damage with uh, my Scythe Claws right now. Still, though, Scythe Claws slowness is making it a little bit difficult. Just a little bit, though. How about min-maxing? I don't know. I feel like I still want to go check that out. Sounds fun. Yeah, scales with the two highest. So, yeah, uh, our legendary items are currently acting like they have 31 stats. 
At least that's from what I understand. It might actually be different. I don't know. It's changed up a little bit since they decided to make legendary items a sort of different style of gameplay and everything. Take them out, man. I was not taking them out, man. <laughs> there. There. 150,000. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like adding 30,000 damage every single time I get a stat at this point in time. It's pretty nice. Is it going to be enough? We'll see. We'll see. I believe you're right. Okay, good. Because <laughs> it's just like I can imagine that it's like, oh, man, I'm going to have to be like pinning a lot of comments on this video if I'm wrong. Oh, no, you don't. And by pinning a lot of comments, I mean pinning one comment and then switching it off with whatever one has more um, aggressiveness in it. Because <laughs> that's how I do it, apparently. Uh, okay. Oh. I mean, that's more, that's more something that I would reward for, like, the aggression cast, but, you know. Come on, now. We can do it here, too. Imagine having people watch. Not me! <laughs> Man, let me tell you, the numbers on YouTube have been plummeting ever since I started up the uh, Persona Eclipse. <laughs> it's just, people really don't like seeing me play Persona 5. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. That's not going to happen. Is this the aggressive stream? No. We have not said, uh... <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I guess it is the aggressive cast at least ten times. Which is normally what you would expect. Uh, every five minutes or so. Okay. Boy, if only I could stop playing Persona 5, maybe... <laughs> My, my channel would start to recover. To even just a little bit. <laughs> Please stop with Persona. I'll stop if you do. No, it's not how it works. It goes beyond money or any sort of monetary gain, really. <laughs> I think the numbers are going down because Dead Cells needs DLCs to stay relevant. I mean, well, that's that's just the old... I mean, it, yeah, it's like I could also try and like maybe jump in on some uh, uh, more like bandwagon-y type of stuff, too. It might not be purely Persona, it's true. <laughs> I don't know, is there any good games that have come out lately that I can go bandwagon on? Right. Problem is I got too far out of touch with Persona because I was like trying to catch up when he played the original, then he started playing Royal. But the thing is, Royal actually picked up right from where the original series left off. I, I literally just showed you a bunch of like, okay, here's the new stuff, and now here and now we're at the same point that we were at in the original series. It's like it was it was a very natural sort of uh, transfer over to the to the newer version. At least I thought so. I hate. Okay, there we go. <laughs> hate those things. Chess has already died. Ah, dang. Well, chess will never die. <laughs> I don't know. Do I really want to play that much chess, though? I feel like that might be hard. Besides, chess is also a two-player thing. I can't play two-player games. I can't play multiplayer games at all. I refuse. Anything fun? Eh. Anything else around here? Even yeah, there's still plenty of areas to check out, I suppose. Although I've mostly covered everything. Okay, you can play chess by yourself. Smart people do it all the time. How do you do it all the time? It's just like it's a game of predicting what the other person is going to do, and you're just gonna do it for yourself. Also, I'm not that smart. Yeesh. Okay. Wondering about that one, but I have no friends to play with. Yeah. Play against Marty? He would destroy me in chess. Like, I don't know if you know this. That guy is way smarter than I am. <laughs> oh, he would... I mean, it would not even be a contest. I would be absolutely obliterated. Ah. Uh, right. Nah, I guess I gotta go get the... Fr I guess I should probably go get the fragment. Ah! Scary. 
Abunai. Anyway, just do the best moves for both sides or you'll mimic the moves of past games. I mean, I guess like mimicking the moves of past games could kind of make some sense. I don't know how it would, I, I don't think it would really work. Oh, here we are. All right, how am I gonna do this? Oh, wait, no, I still got more moves. That's good. Oh, great. Oh, and I got him with the, uh, I guess that works. Man, I can just upswing everything doing 50,000 damage. It's pretty sweet. That was 200,000 damage. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go, man. Well, like almost 37 total stats with this virtue of this being legendary. There we go. All right. I think what I really want to do is probably take Tonic just a feeling right now yeah and just a little bit of an inkling anyway you watch that queen's gambit gambit she blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you watch a blamblam <laughs> great well <laughs> I guess might as well use the tonic to try and just try regen a little bit of the health that I just lost there, stupidly. Um, can you say uwu? <clears throat> uwu. Anyway. What are we doing here? Uh, yeah, I'm... Hmm, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I want to go kill some more enemies, to be honest. Ah. Yeah, it'll work. 40%. Car 2% up to a maximum of 50. Yeah, I think that's kind of the best option I got right now. And then maybe just use a potion charge to get back up to full, full. There we are. Can you say Owo? No, one's for stream. <laughs> One redeem for stream. Almost up to 50, baby. Necromancy works well, and that's why I took it. Of course, I, I guess that kind of goes without saying, right? There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Can you just become a full-time VTuber? I, you, you know it's going to happen eventually. Like, we all know that it's just like, I, I keep talking about like, hey, I'm on a VTuber kick. And it's like, you've been on a VTuber kick for the last 12 months? And it's like, well, okay, I guess I'm on a, I guess I'm living the VTuber lifetime now. <laughs> Whatever. Ugh, just need an iPhone. I got rid of that. I got rid of the only iPhone I ever owned a long time ago. When I washed it in the washing machine. But let's not talk about that. Get new mutations, that's the plan. What to get though? I still like this. That's a lot of extra health. Kill kill rhythm, of course. Of course that's what else am I gonna get? I mean it's just like that's the most obvious thing. Good. Let's go. And how else would you wash it? Very true. Extraordinarily true. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's do it. Come on. What did I even, what is I, what was even the plan there? <laughs> ah, screw it, just heal. I mean, basically, I did that wrong was the plan. There. Ah, unfortunate, but still okay. Managing, managing. Health-a-gone. 
chunked him down pretty good though, didn't I? Scythe OP. Scythe has still lost a lot since uh, the many updates that made it not as good. But God, it can really output some damage, can it? All right. Ah. Anyway. Let's keep going. Doc is very aggro. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, I'm very aggro every day. <laughs> That's just how it goes. A lot of attack speed, at least. Yeah, but is it enough? Will I be able to survive now that I've lost everything? We'll see. Probably. <laughs> I still have... I took the tonic for good reason, you know. Just an angry person. Yeah, you can tell in my voice. You can see in my smile. Anyway, uh... <laughs> let's keep going here. Ooh, demon. I just gained everything back. Forehead. <laughs> Go fast, eat ass. Yeah, exactly. That's that's how I live my life. Mm-hmm. There we are. Not bad, not bad. How many of these things am I going to be fighting? <laughs> That's gonna. <sighs> there we are. 500,000 damage. Easy. <laughs> well, I need to, I, I guess they've like changed up the boss health caps or something. Or maybe they haven't, and I was just hitting it constantly. Let's, let's get going. <laughs> Not one million. We might be able to get to that in the next area. We'll see. To think that one dude was pissed the scythe was nerfed multiple times. I mean, it still is much. We, I, The original scythe would be able to just cleave through him. No problem at all. But, you know, this is still... Ah. Well, that was perfect. That was a perfect fight. Parfait, if you will. Oh, I forgot to ask you what was the thing. It's been a couple streams, hasn't it? Hmm. Well, I still have no no potion charges because, you know, it's it, it does leave you open. It is yeah, perfect. Uh it is the sort of it is the sort of weapon that leaves you open a lot. Like a lot, but it is also the sort of weapon that can kill endgame enemies in one hit in the Astrolab, so that's cool. Hey! It said in one hit. There we go. Oh, now that's a skin. Yeah, I know. Perfect, right? <laughs> ah, greed shield's not gonna do me any good here. You, however, are what I am looking for. One, but that's... That's about the best as I could hope for with this sort of run. Uh, I think it's enough. I think it's enough. I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime... Hey, that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. Okay. What, what am I saying? Yep. And librarians, thanks to the just enormous area that this hit, is not going to be a big problem. Unlike usual. How does kill rhythm work? I mean, it just increases your, your weapon speed by... I think it just increases like the animation for the for the weapon by like X percentage so it's like 50% basically you don't need healings if you kill enemies faster than they kill you except I can't it's a very slow weapon <laughs> that's the problem case in point hmm Actually, I should win back. I should have got back up to ah, 50% health because I do have the... There is the extra piece of food out there. Never forget about that. Hmm, what's this? Nothing. Yeah, killing enemies before they kill me. Normally a good strategy. Uh, a little bit hard to um, to truly appreciate in a scythe clawed run. Come on. There we go. Ooh, ooh what's this? Scythe clawed. Notices scythe. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that works. What do you got? I 
really like having the four, though. I know it's not really the best idea. <laughs> stack everything in one stat like that, but they did give me the ability to do that. So who am I to, to disagree? Travel the world in the seven seas, everybody's looking for something. Okay. Oh boy. One shot and stomper elites, at least for now. I don't know. I've been kind of, like obviously I'm going for the faster hits on regular enemies, but it's like if I go for the slower hit, it obviously is one shot. As you can see as observable here. Is that enough though? I don't know. Oops. The alien key looks like a sharp straw for some reason. I mean, it's supposed to be an Allen wrench, which is always why it's weird that it's called the alien key. <laughs> well, you know how that is. I don't even know what I want here because I wouldn't take a non-legendary version of the Scythe Claw anyway. It has way too much good stuff going with it. Got him. Got him. There we go. Slam this thing on down top of enemies' heads. Should be fine. And basically, every stat up that I get goes into purely into damage due to the way the legendary items work. Pretty cool. Okay. Eight. I'm going to actually just do that and then do that. What you got? Didn't think it was going to be... Like, what else? Would it just have to be another four into survival at this point in time for me to even want to take it? No. Denied. Yep. And actually, that's the one I wanted to do for almost 700,000 damage. We're getting there. We're getting to, like, the big boy big damage at this point. Oh, man. Okay. It's 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 popping off. Uh, is it going to be popping off enough to actually make it so that I can get through the final boss fight? Eh, it's yet to be seen. It's going good, though. I'd love to see it get to, like, a hundred... Uh, one million, I mean, before the end of this. I got my doubts, though. It's been almost two hours? Yeah, about an hour 45, according to OBS here. Something that you could not find out by, you know, like, using bots or anything in the stream because I used them bad, bad streamer. Nope. It might be slow. Still faster than you. Not too much faster, though. That's why I gotta be careful. Okay, anything else I'm looking for around here, then... Uh, one scroll fragment, and that is it. Okay, well... Basically, from this point, then, I'm not really going to be getting any more stats. So, unfortunately, this is where we're topping off on the uh, damage train. I think it was still pretty good, though. Yeah? Okay. Man, it does hit in a very large area, at least. Still great for the claws. Ain't low laws when you're used in the scythe claws. That's what they say. Okay. That's what they say. Okay. So close. I mean, I, can, I don't even need to take this scroll fragment because I'm not going to be able to get two more. But I'm actually also really close to 60 kills, which is shocking. I guess it just took me a little bit to get back into the uh, the swing of things with the with swinging the scythe claws. You get it. That's clever, right? <laughs> anyway. Good. Don't get hit by that. That would be a very embarrassing way to lose like 90% of my health. <laughs> Come on now. No, these guys are being... Yeah, there we go. 60. Nice. Not that I'm going to be... I'm. There's very unlikely I'm going to be taking anything from the next area, but hey, get that. Still, it's fun, too. Okay. Man. Let's see what we got. Still not enough to take those guys out. I still think that, yeah, maybe, like, one really underrated part of the run was taking Tonic. Because <laughs> I don't think I would be able to be here if I didn't take that at this point. Oh, my God. Please. 
There. The funny number. Funny number. It's got 69 kills in game two. So close. There it is. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, well. We got it there. I acknowledged it. And that is all you need to do, really, to get the nice. Everybody nice. Tonic is saving you. That's why I was actually seriously thinking about just taking both Tonic and, uh, and Vampirism. Because, let's be honest, the amount of... The amount of health I could restore just through Rally alone would be an extreme. I mean, maybe it's even still worth... Nah, nah, nah. Well, I guess not. Because that's not the right type of shop. And yeah, the other one's always a, a food shop. But <laughs> Tonic and Legendary Tonic. Not quite what I meant. I mean, the Tonic and Vampirism. Vampirism. <laughs> well, let's just take everything and get out of here. I wasn't actually at 50. It, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're currently looking at at least a pretty good chance at a win, if not an actual win. No, oh, not quite. Shocking. Not that it uh, helped them too much. Let's go. Ah, I'm ready for it. Sent an anti-vaxxer seeing how he's on his way to being up a syringe wheel. No, no, wait a second. Do you consider anybody with a syringe to be <laughs> related to vaccines? Yeah, none of these are, are even remotely good. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I mean, really, if you're getting 60 kills in that last area, they should just give you, like, three legendary items, you know, in the same way that you get in, uh, in the, the, the shrines. Dude, what? Like, dude, since when are syringes purely associated with vaccinations and not, like, I don't know, everything else that you inject into yourself? Because <laughs> there's a lot of different, like, IV drips or, like, giving blood or something. I guess that's technically not a syringe, but you know what I'm saying. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Slowness of the weapon is getting me. Oh, ah. Okay, fine. I guess we're doing it like this. Checkmate vaccination, people. Well, the unfortunate thing, though, is that, yeah... <laughs> Is that maybe I played this one very badly? <laughs> oh well. Yeah, he's just not taking as much damage as I want him to. He can do it. We'll see about that. Because it's just like, of course, takes out other enemies very quickly, but bosses still. I mean, even, like, the Hand of the King still got their own ways to prevent me from uh, dealing ungodly amount of damage to them. That said, still doing okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah, almost down. Actually, probably should wait until they got to the next area for this. Ooh, that was a little bit early on the roll, but I'm still alive somehow. Oh, no, I rolled too early again then, too. Damn. It was really close too, but yeah, that's how it did. That's how it did it. Got too got too full of myself at the start of the fight, thinking that I was really going to be able to chunk him down a lot faster than I could. And it's just like, yeah, that would have otherwise been a, probably a win if I would just played that with caution from the beginning.